Hey, what's up guys? Today we have here the 2021 Tarmac SL6 base model. Uh, retail is $2,500, size 54. Weighs in at 19 pounds, four ounces, and 8.71 kilos. Stay tuned to after video where you hear a free body sound test on these uh, access runs right here. Thank you. Hey, how's it going everyone? This is GC Performance here, back with another video. Today I have for you guys the 2021 Specialized Tarmac SL6. This is their base model. Uh, retail on this thing is $2,500. This is a size 54 and weighed in at 19 pounds, four ounces. Uh, real quick before we get into all the specs and that, just kind of want to mention, uh, this is the uh, second time they hit this bike with a price raise on uh, this price in particular. I believe that when I did the first video for the black tarmac, it was $2,000. Now it's only at $2,500 uh, for this model. This is specialized entry level tarmac that you can buy and it's retails for 25. So um, is entry level 20, is entry level carbon bikes dead? Uh, I, I think so right now uh, with just all these price increases, shipping costs, these companies have to pay. It's very hard to find a big brand name with a, with a, um, a price tag of under two grand for a full carbon bike. Um, but yeah, so I kind of want to talk about that. Uh, I'll talk about the components that come on this bike as well, but I think for sure $2,500 is going to be around the starting price point of what these bikes will go ahead and start at for a full carbon road bike uh, by at least Specialized Trek or these other companies. So before we get into it, uh, give me one second. So yeah, anyways, um, yes, but my opinion, $25 for an entry level bike, especially with something with Shimano Tiagra on there where it's not even 11 speed, this is a 10 speed Grupo. Um, it's kind of a bummer. I would definitely would like to see a bike with a full carbon frame and Shimano 105 in there, but it's not my call at the end of the day. So, but without further ado, let's get into this bike. Uh, this is the Tarmac SL6 base model in the metallic white, and it has a black logo on here. This is a gloss color in here, so yeah. So starting off right at the top, we have here the specialized aluminum drop handlebars. This is a 31.8 clamp. It is a 42 centimeter wide handlebar. Uh, also on here is going to be a specialized aluminum stem. This is going to be a 100 millimeter stem. Yep, 100 millimeter stem, negative six degrees for the drop. Shifters on here are going to be Shimano Tiagra. These are a 10 speed shifter, 10 speed on the right, two speed on the rear. So in total, you're getting 20 gears out of it. Uh, this is a hydraulic disc brake bike as well. So you can see right there, they are disc brakes. So you have a hydraulic actuation with a mechanical shift. Uh, you have your barrel adjusters here for the front derailleur. Then you have your little uh, connector pods for the uh, disc brakes right here. This is where the mechanics would go ahead and um, take apart them if you needed to. Going on down to the front of the fork, it's that still that gloss metallic white. You can kind of see in the sun, it does shimmer like a silverish or like a, you know, a metallic white would look like. <laughs> uh, the bike does have through axles on here. The wheels that come on this bike are going to be a Axis Sport. It's an aluminum rim with aluminum spokes on there. And they are a J hook and just regular rounded spokes with a regular Axis front hub. Nothing crazy about it. I believe Axis is gonna be an in-house brand as well for um, Specialized. It's just kind of their cheaper wheel. That's gonna be where the brute of this bike's weight is for 19 pounds, four ounces for a 54 with no pedals, no cages. A lot of the weight is in these hefty or those uh, those, those chunky wheels. So keep that in mind. Turbos are the bike that, the tires that come on this bike are gonna be the Specialized Turbo Pros. It's a 700 by 26 C tire. These are not tubeless ready. The rims, I believe, are tubeless ready, but you might have to do some extra reinforcement to them. Uh, you would need valves and different tires. These tires are not tubeless ready, so keep that in mind. Rotors that are on here. This wheel is a six bolt wheel, it's not a center lock, so you do have six bolts that go on these rotors. And the rotation of this uh, rotor right here is going to be a 160 millimeter rotor. You have a through axle right here as well, and then you have the flat mount Shimano Tiagra uh, caliper brake. So flat mount Tiagra brakes on there as well. And then you can see if you do want it to downsize for the rotors, you do have the option to not do that because that's for 160, 180. So don't even worry about what I was just gonna say. Bottom bracket on here is going to be a threaded bottom bracket for the Tarmac SL6. This is new for this year. They used to be the Tarmac SL6s back in the day were OSBB. For the cheaper end frames, the Fact Carbon 9R, which I'm on the other side to show you guys that. This is a threaded bottom bracket, which is a regular Shimano threaded BB. You have a Shimano Tiagra crank on here. The crank arms are 172.5 for the length. And crank arm lengths will always vary depending on the size of the bike. I believe for a 52, it's 170. 54 and 56 are gonna be 172.5. 58 is gonna be 175. Uh, chain ring on here is going to be a 5034. Again, I would like to see a at least a mid-compact for a crank, especially on a tarmac bike. Um, but 
I guess Tiagra, they figured a base model bike. They're gonna put a compact crank on here. Kind of a bummer, but you know, maybe you can upgrade it later on down the road. Front derailleur is a uh, Tiagra front derailleur. And then right here you have the marking for a Fact Carbon 9R. Uh, and then it says design in California, made in Taiwan, all this stuff are there. Water ball bolts right here, they have the specialized logo on there. Water ball bolts right here, specialized logo. And then you have a KMC chain on here for a 10 speed. And then the rear, this is a Tiagra. Then we have here a Shimano Tiagra. Sorry about that. A Shimano Tiagra 10 speed cassette. This is a 1130 on here. And then you have a uh, Shimano Tiagra rear mech with a mechanical pole on here. Nothing crazy. You got your little barrel adjuster there. Again, Shimano Tiagra is going to be the 10 speed of the stuff. Like I said, if you could, Maybe later on down the road, get an 11 speed Grupo for this bike. I know I did a, uh, a video before explaining about the bikes, about the upgrades and stuff like that, but the bike looks absolutely clean. I love the color, I love the look of it. The SL6 frame is definitely one of the nicer designs of it, um, but I wish that for 2,500 bucks, I wish you at least got Shimano 105 for mechanical Grupo. Doesn't make any sense. But anyways, um, you got your 54 sizing right here, the UCI sticker right there, you have your uh, this is where the front and rear derailleur go, cables go into. If this was electronic, they will give you a different cover plate to put on there. So that way you can uh, have that mask and put away. Um, you have on here the little tarmac logo on the back with that little black right there. It looks really clean. Again, this is a DT Axis, I'm sorry, an Axis Sport rear aluminum wheel with a 700 by 26 Specialized Turbo Pro tire. And again, in the rear, you have a six bolt rotor the cheapest Shimano rotor they got on there and then a flat mount Shimano Tiagra brake as well. These are through axle. If you, this is your first time buying a, a through axle or disc brake bike, which it probably will be because it is a uh, entry level road bike. Remember to bring a six millimeter Allen key for the front and rear wheels to change a flat. You will need this to take off your rear wheel. So if you ever get flats, remember that. This is key. The SL6 is known to be one of their nicest models out of the bikes that they had. First year that they actually did the lowered Seat stays on here to make it more aerodynamic. And then they don't have any more of the D-shaped seat posts. So the SL6s are going to be their base models with the rounded seat posts on here. It's a 27.2 seat post. It is a carbon fiber, carbon fiber proclaimed seat post. It's more of like a, a fake carbon, but it is, it's like a really dense carbon fiber, um, but it's very heavy. I'd recommend upgrading right away. Uh, and then you have your specialized power saddle. This is their sport saddle. This is $60. Little tiny cutout right there. A lot of cushion right here. A lot of uh, comfy padding. Again, they kind of put that seat more towards an entry level rider. But that is gonna do it for this video, guys. Let me know what you guys think about it. This is the Specialized Tarmac SL6. Retail is $2,500. This is the cheapest model they get for a carbon fiber road bike for a Tarmac. Comes with Shimano Tiagra. It's a size 54 and weighs at 19 pounds, four ounces. Thank you guys again so much for watching this video. If you guys do want to, check out gcperformanceyt.com where I have clothing brand for t-shirts, sweaters, hoodies, backpacks, merch. You can buy it. It'll help me go towards the channel to go ahead and do more giveaways sooner. Um, if you guys don't want to buy it, then fair enough. It's fine with me. Uh, but thank you guys again so much. I'll see you next video. Bye. So we have the, the uh, Tarmac SL6 base model with the aluminum rims, the Axis Sport. Here comes the free buy sent test time right now. Good. Okay, All right, guys. Thank you guys so much.